Hey folks, we have an exciting day today. I know the uh, sun is setting over there. Um, can't go like this, can't go like that, you know, whatever. Anyway, we've got an exciting day today. Today is the first day where we're eating something that we grew on our land. And so the first thing, as you might have guessed if you know us, is going to be kale. That's right, kale. So I'm going to show you how I make up uh, the Lacinto kale that we love eating. And uh, I think once you try it at home, you'll do it yourself. All right, so here we go. We've got the kale. Um, because it was uh, little, we saw, you know, Shanna showed you that on the last video. Because they're little, I didn't have to devein them. But otherwise, if we had nice big leaves, I'd take them off the stalks. And so I've got a nice uh, grill kind of vegetable cooker thing that you can find uh, at Home Depot or whatever. Uh, I got this uh, a while back and uh, I really enjoy it. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to take that Lacinto kale and we're just going to put it straight onto the fire right there. Okay? And so in fact what we're going to be doing is we're going to be scorching these leaves and actually they're going to kind of look like they're burned they're going to be crispy. They're going to turn into um, maybe what you've seen out there, maybe kale chips. I don't know. But we're going, to, we're going to let those cook here on the flame. You can see I've got the flame nice and high. We're going to let that go. And we're actually going to let those go until they burn. That's right, burn. So we'll just let them sit and keep on cooking. While those cook, we're going to come over here. You're gonna see our uh, backdrop for where we cook on the grill. All right, let's check it out. So cook, been cooking for a few minutes. You can see exactly what we want to have happening, going on. You can see they're starting to turn black. That's not black enough. We want them burned. So let the burning continue. Now we are getting down to it. You can see pretty much everything is black. Nice and crispy. You know, this will... I think we're going to call it right here. This means we're going to take it on inside. We're going to turn the fire off. We're going to take this on in. And we are going to finish doctoring it up. And we'll plate it up for dinner catch you on the inside. Now our grilling area is in the grove, which Shanna calls the grove. She named it. It's where you can see some pictures back when we used to bring Cheapy out here. But the grove is where we cook. And uh, yeah, we're pretty lucky to, to have the grove back there to keep our grill. Now, the interesting thing is a mouse, a little field mouse, the kind that Shanna killed on in her capstone research project for university. So we won't tell that little mouse about that. But anyway, this little field mouse has taken our residence inside of our grill. I mean, what's up with that? I bought this fancy grill cover and uh, apparently all it did was create a new home for the mouse. Much in the same way that the uh, lamb shelter has just turned into a bird's nest. Anyway, I guess that's the way it goes out here. The things you built the homes for don't necessarily turn out that way. But anyway, let's get this grilled kale in and finish it on out. We're going to finish this bad boy off. There's only two things that you need to do. Number one, you need a little bit of lemon juice. Yes, I'm being lazy. I've got the little lemon concentrate from the store. Uh, I don't have any lemons, but you know. So a little, little spray of that on there. Little poquito de sal. That's an inside joke. Toss it up. Now, I and it should be done. Now what I'll do though is, because I like a little bit of extra olive oil on top, and there you go. You've got some grilled 
kale that is fantastic. And what's best, it's from our land.